This is my favorite method. Normally, we evaluate this using integration by parts twice, but we're going to use Euler's formula, which is really cool. Now, bear with me. I know that these are complex numbers here, but trust me, this becomes very easy to work with. Sine of x is the imaginary part of e to the ix. So if we substitute that in, this integral becomes the imaginary part of e to the 2x uh, times e to the ix dx. And we can merge these together by adding the exponents. And here, my friends, is like the world's easiest integral. Like one, of, maybe not the world's easiest, but it's, it's an easy integral to do. Where this one is hard, e to the x is our friend. So if we integrate this, it becomes the imaginary part of e to the power of 2 plus ix divided by 2 plus i, plus our integration constant c. Now what we need to do is find out what this imaginary part is. So to do that, we're going to substitute back into Euler's formula to give us this. So e to the ix is this right here. And we need to extract the imaginary part. To do that, we need to put it in the form of a plus bi, where b is our imaginary part right here. To get our fraction into this form, we multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate. Now, knowing that i equals the square root of negative 1, and that i squared, then, is negative 1, if we expand the brackets, kind of foil it out and factor, what you'll get after simplifying this and doing some algebra is e to the 2x divided by 5 times the real part, 2 cos x plus sine, plus the imaginary part, 2 sine xi minus cos i. And this part right here is our imaginary part, b, that we want with this factor right here. And that's, that's it, my friends, and we're done. <laughs>